Welcome back, everyone, to the next installment of 999. We have a new puzzle room with a dead captain, not that we can see him right now, a bloody chair, a camera. I'll save that for later because I bet you that's super important. Let's take a look at the bloody chair. I'm, I'm Clover, sure. a chair. <laughs> we're, we're, we're all stuck in this one room now, as opposed to the last time where we had a little space to breathe. And Ace, working. you go over there. Yeah, I guess I will. Lay on the bed again. <laughs> oh, God. Ugh. There's blood on this chair. Do, do you think it was the dead guys? No. All captain's chairs have blood on them. It's good luck for the <laughs> ship. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, probably. Ugh. Well, what a dumb question. There's blood on this chair. Kind of creeping me out. I'll move it aside. Hey, look, a thing on the desk that they're probably going to make you go look at manually. I moved the sheets and took a look under the bed. There's a lot of space. Somebody could hide down there. A dead body. Uh, then you could hide other stuff, too. Huh? You mean, like, this body? Yeah, but whoever killed him didn't do that. Why not? Well, let's see. You're I mean, all, what's the use of hiding him? It's not like we would never have checked the bed. You're all supposed to die here before you yeah. got to this point. <laughs> I guess I can think of four possibilities. They might have just not noticed the space under the bed, or they didn't think of hiding the body, or they didn't have the time to hide it, or... Or what? Maybe they didn't want to hide it. Uh, well, again, there's no point I, at all. I, I do appreciate a lot of the time when you're solving, like, detective games, they always assume there's a motive behind any, everything, and you should at least just consider that they just didn't bother. Yeah, that is pretty good, actually. Maybe they wanted us to find it, to prove a point or something. Hmm. There's plenty of space under the bed. To hide a dead body, or yeah. not. There's something metallic on top of that table. Hey, is that a music box? Oh my god, finally got a smile out of her. Yeah, it took long enough. My brother had a music box like this. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> well, let's have a look. I think it's telling you to look at it from, like, yeah, from a different angle. not zoomed in on the chair. There's a little music box on this table. You sure can observe. Alright. It is fair, we do occasionally have to really look deep at things. A yeah. bed. There's nothing on in it. A bed. There's nothing, I mean, nothing suspicious here. Well, can you lift the covers and show me? I mean, we already looked, yeah, the, we looked we'll under just assume where, that where the body that. would normally be. It, it's a lamp, but it doesn't turn on. I don't think there's anything special about it. A lamp. Nothing to see here. Well, not without the light, right? Ha! <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> 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 Does it open? There's a lamp with a shade on it on the table. And something else. Something metal. Uh, it looks like a music box. Music box is metal as fuck. <laughs> There's a lamp and a music box on the table. Oh, God. But wait, this bed post isn't true. <laughs> it's a bed. There's nothing under the sheets. Hey, but what about this wall? Okay, let's go. Ding. Music box. Play it. Oh, it's one of those old music boxes. How about we wind it up? Why does oh, it sound like that? that? Oops, I blew it. I'm going to scratch. Oh, let's let's like start that. the whole let's play over. Hmm. All the way from the beginning. Yep. We'll get it right next time. Broken? The pins in the cylinder are shaped all weird. I don't think those are pins. Look, like someone put something else on top of it. I think we're gonna have to take it apart to figure out what's going on, don't you? A music box. The pins in the cylinder look odd. We'll have to take it apart if we want to get a good look at it. Don't do it. Ah, crap. <laughs> all right. So this is the exit, huh? Don't even really have to try this door to know that it's locked. Man, that would be quite the, the troll if it is you just It's walk, just open. Just, like, seek a way out. You found it! Yeah, like, that would <laughs> be great, the last puzzle room. Like, I joked about it last time, but you only have 81 seconds, and the trick is that the door is just open. <laughs> I know it. Well, we did try. The exit is locked. But wait. But what's that? A camcorder. It looks like it's pointed at the door. Well, the power's on. Why would someone want to videotape a door? Mm. Okay. I think this kind of camera records to a hard drive, but it doesn't look like this one's recording anything. What, what do you mean? It's just sending whatever it sees to something. A hard drive. <laughs> what does it see? A door. Uh, the door. Mm. Okay. Duh, Clover, oh, the Clover, look right there. Yeah, Clover, you idiot. <laughs> but the door. You buffoon. What if it was turned around? All right, there are only two what screens. What about the curtains? The curtains. It's curtains for you. 
Does it work? Nope. Yeah, actually, uh, good, probably good guess, though. Also, my... Uh, Junpei, where are you going? I was going to pop over to the communications office and talk to yeah, Ace. Ace didn't even bother coming into this room. Yeah, yeah. leave me alone in here. Uh, you can just stay here with me a little longer. She's going to kill me. There's still a lot of places we haven't looked, you know? Junpei, are you good with machines? There's this weird thing on this desk. Can you come take a look at it? Junpei, please. Look at the desk. <laughs> the door of the communications office. Man, the moment I look like I'm going to leave, Clover looks like she's going to cry. Junpei, please take a look at the machines. Before I go. <laughs> maybe they look like come, batteries. Maybe you can come back. So, so like, Junpei, yeah, right. like, walk over to the door and turn the handle and, like, thought better of it, like, five times yep. in a row. Mm -hmm. and just kept walking back. Yeah, God damn it, Junpei. like, I knew I was forgetting something. <laughs> this high, this, like, entire wall of monitors. Yeah, monitors. There's a cable running from them to the monitor. The one monitor. They look like batteries. This okay, okay? Boom. I think this probably used to be a door. That is kind of weird, actually. Now it's a jar. Oh. <laughs> Nobody's going through it as long as there's metal plates here, though. Well, even while well, not the metal plate, the desk is in the way. Well, that we could have fixed. Jim. Yeah, there's <laughs> the, yeah. good point, Clover. Now it's really... <laughs> when Zero was like totally out of puzzle ideas, well, I'm just going to put a, door, a, a desk in front of the door. Yeah, now they'll never Seek think... Seek a way out, fuckers. <laughs> <laughs> there's a thick metal plate over the door. Seek a different way out. Well, what is in the chair? A chair. Yes. A chair. a chair. It looks like a little lonely. Just like Clover. <laughs> oh. Don't leave the chair, Junpei. <laughs> a drawer. There's nothing inside. Just like Clover's soul. Oh. Uh, what is this? There's a piece of paper in here with some letters on it. What's the deal with this? What's the what deal the, yeah. with this paper? Is this some kind of code? There are four rows of numbers and letters. They all start with a zero and end with 8FN or V, respectively. Maybe this has something to do with number bases. New material. And that's it. Wow. A numeral system chart found in the captain's quarters. 10 in base 10 is written as A in hexadecimal. Therefore, 11 is B, 12 is C, 13 D, 14 E, and so on. This chart showed the rules for each numeral system. Oh no. Oh no. Oh! Okay, so there's that. Alright. <laughs> that, 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 that's all there is to it. Yep, we're done. And that, as they say, is <laughs> that. There's a bunch of weird buttons on here. They probably switch what you see on the screens. Uh, do you know how to work this thing? Press more buttons. Um, why don't we just press one of these? Like Kapow. this one. Yeah, self destruct. Zero. Oh god. Well, I guess it does change the. <gasps> What the hell is this? So I guess it's the hexadecimal thing? Well, something like that. I have to admit, I, I don't really recall this one that well. I, I know that you're right that the... The, um... The sheet does help you figure it out. Or at so least it's supposed to be a clue. 35... 14... Ah, crap. R, I'll see, O is 15, R is 27. 18, yeah, 20. Well, R is 27, right? Because it's... Mm -hmm. Oh, wait, A is 11? A is yeah, 10. 10. Oh, A is 10. So, yeah, R is... What I, whatever I just said. A is 10. So, R R is the 18th letter of the alphabet. Yeah, Z so is 30... 27. Yeah, Z is 35. Z is 35. 35. E is, e is 14. 35, 14, 27... And the O is is O is the fifteenth letter of the alphabet, so it's twenty-four. Alright. Thirty-five, fourteen, twenty-seven. Twenty-four. Twenty-four. Hope I remember Hopefully all. all of us will individually remember most of these. Yeah, right. Heh. <laughs> Junpei snorted with grim humor for the second time since he'd come into the room. Snort. The four screens along the bottom had a single letter each, spelling out Zero, huh? No, just zero Junpei. There's no oh, good point. It's like he's making fun of us. <laughs> What do you think? He turned to Clover, who was standing next to him. Clover nodded. Nothing. Nothing at all. <laughs> it seemed that she cared about that about little that okay. I don't really care. Of course Junpei could hardly blame yes. her. Given the strain she was surely under, Junpei was somewhat surprised she'd responded at all. Still, he had to ask. He gestured toward the corpse. What about him? Do you think that's really zero? Clover shook her head weakly. There's no way that's him. 
Didn't I tell you already? Zero is one of us. Yeah, right. Well, even if he wasn't one of us, there's no way that man could be Zero. Mm -hmm. Don't you get it? The letters that spell Zero on the TV screen, the captain's clothes he's got on, and of course, the bracelet with the Zero on it. It's too obvious. Look, look! This is Zero right here. This dead body is Zero. Isn't that kind of fishy? You're right. Only an idiot would see through something like this. That. No, that's not the point. I'm not trying to make fun of them for thinking a trick like this would work. Players who thought he was Zero. I'm sure they didn't think it would work, which makes me wonder, why did they do it? Mm. I think this is a challenge. A challenge from the person who's really behind all of this. He's making fun of us. Hmm? Also, like, who is this guy? I like, know. Why is there just a dead body? Don't you get it? If whoever killed this guy really wanted us to think this corpse was Zero, they'd never have put a bracelet on him. Walking about with a Zero bracelet would be like hanging a sign around your neck that said, I did it. Anyone with a brain would be able to see that this guy is supposed to look like everything Zero was supposed to be. Just like we did. Mm. The killer must have known we wouldn't think he was Zero and put the bracelet on him anyway. Do you know why? Why? Like I said, he's mocking us. Jeez, pay attention. Too bad, suckers. This isn't Zero. Where's the real me, then? See if you can catch me. It's the same bad joke a lot of criminals like to play. They'll just sit back and watch people run in circles. I, I don't think that Jim Payne has a lot of I know. <laughs> That's really twisted. It's almost... It almost seems kind of childish. Yeah, you're right. It's really childish. It's like it's just a game to whoever this person is. That's what seems funny to me. Jim Payne bent down next to the corpse. Alright. Let's get back to the point. Who killed this man? I don't know... And what's this guy's deal? What's this guy's deal? Who is he? What's the deal How with this I corpse? Know that? If I knew everything, I would have told you. You have no idea who he is? Why would I? Hmm. Jimpe sat back on his haunches. Is he an animal? Jimpe has like several chairs in the room. <laughs> <laughs> and thought. He didn't want to sit on a bloody one. We should check and see if he's got anything on him that might tell us who he is. Give me a hand here, Clover. Tiny, huh? tiny hands. <laughs> We've got to flip him over. How else are we going to search his pockets? Ooh. Gross. Clover didn't move. I don't want to touch a dead corpse. Okay, fine. Guess I'll do it. Jumpy had no choice but to move the body on his own. Here we go. Ace. He gra Help. He grabbed hold of an area not completely covered in blood and shoved. It took a moment, but eventually Junpei felt the man's bulk begin to shift. But just as it did... Huh? Something fell from the man's left wrist. Hey, hey it's the the bracelet with zero on the face. Last, oh, that's you. Lastly, let us discuss how to remove the bracelet. There are only two ways to do so. One, you escape from this ship. Two, your heart rate reaches zero. In other words, once the bracelet is taken outside of the confines of the ship or detects that the owner's heartbeat has fallen to zero, it will shut down automatically. Oh god. He's dead. <laughs> Jim Pace stared at the bracelet. This man, he, are you for real? What 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 could have killed him? <laughs> <laughs> That's what the criminals love to do. See us talk in circles. This man, he's dead, isn't he? Huh? Didn't you confirm no, that a it's while just, ago? I guess I didn't really think about it until right now, even after confirming it. Even after checking for his pulse. And seeing an axe wound. If his bracelet's off... Never mind the axe wound. If the People bracelet's die off, when their bracelets are off, Junpei. <laughs> <laughs> that means he's dead. Well, it's pretty obvious that he's dead. You don't really need yeah. to look at his bracelet to figure that out. He's dead. Yeah. Yeah, I guess you're right. I mean, it I didn't know that obvious. Snake was dead until I saw his bracelet fall off, not the exploded viscera of his mauled corpse. I mean, sorry, Clover. <laughs> it is pretty obvious. He looks a lot better than the other bodies. Oh my god, Jim Pei. You know. A lot better than someone I know. Please. Someone you know even better. Someone that you used to know. <laughs> Somebody! Yeah. I mean, 
if there wasn't all this blood, he'd almost look like he was still alive. <laughs> and if he, and if he didn't yeah. have an axe wound, he would look even more like he Who was alive. Who talks like this? If his eyes weren't dilated, he looked like he was still alive. If he was to, wearing the bracelet... The next funeral that I have to go to, I'm going to be like, man, if it wasn't for this guy being dead, he would totally look like he was still alive. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, that is the correct response. <laughs> I mean, I know it's kind of a messed up thing to say, and also impossibly stupid, but he kind of has it better, you know? What? Dying from a bomb going off inside you. I mean... I don't think that he's sitting there, like, wondering, <laughs> thinking, like, gee, I really got off easy. I only got an axe to the chest. Yeah, I mean, you know what would have been far worse is, like, what happened to your brother. I mean, I, I mean, that's just... So... Oh, Are you what? serious? <laughs> Some of Snake's bones went right through his skin. <laughs> I mean, did you see it, Clover? Did you really get a good look? Do you remember how it was just... I think the explosion must have thrown him against the wall oh or something. There was a broken bone just sticking out of his left arm. What? Do you see how Jesus close it was? Christ. Do you remember that, Clover? Jinpei. Do you remember what it looked like Jinpei. when your brother's skeleton was coming out of his body? I mean, it almost made me throw up. I can only imagine how you felt. Oh my god. And suddenly Junpei realized what a freaking jackass he is. No. How could he have been so cruel? He clapped his hands over his mouth. <laughs> Are you kidding me? But it was already too late. Like, oh my I just remembered, Junpei. I don't mind if you leave the room with me now, uh, alone in here <laughs> you now. Leave me alone. He turned to look at Clover. She was glaring at him furiously. What did you just say? The words sounded cold. He knew an apology could hardly atone for what he'd done, but he tried anyway. Never mind, this guy had it worse. Axes are painful. <laughs> <laughs> Snake, Snake looks disgusting, but he probably died quickly and relatively painlessly. Except for all the pain that he probably experienced. It was, it was a second. No, it was, it was just... It was... Oh, man. I am... I am so sorry. I, I shouldn't have said that. I, I really don't know what I was thinking. I, I mean... No, that's not what I'm talking about. What did you say about his arm? Uh, arm? Yes, his left arm. You said... You said it, didn't you? Well, yeah, I, I did, but... I, I mean, didn't you see it too? Of course not. I could barely look at him. There was no way I was going to see the details. So thank you, Jinpei. <laughs> thank you for that excruciating description of my brother's corpse. I mean, let me tell you, Clover, it was oh, disgusting. You should be delivering the eulogy at his funeral if we get out of here. <laughs> let me tell you, the audience will love your shtick about it. He him. had it way worse than that one guy we found with an axe wound. <laughs> let me tell you, what a crazy day I've been having, but this guy, he didn't have it so bad. <laughs> oh. Clover took a quick, deep breath. At least this guy died for you to put up with your bullshit. <laughs> are, are you... Sure, it was his left arm. Jimmy thought back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure it was. You said the DS was like more graphic? No, actually, that was what I was talking about. I think it was oh, the, the placement of the scene. Also, oh, okay. I distinctly remember this conversation. You okay. Know, and like, this is really important. And it's funny to me that, like, it only happened because Junpei was that stupid. Yeah. And he sat in front of, like, a girl and decided to describe his her brother's, you know exploded corpse and the reason he did this was and he was like, like the axe wound you know and, and if you think and about like it, also that specific thing that the left arm was what really stuck out I to him know. as opposed to like all the pieces of him out. that were like all you over know, the place this guy died by a horrible blood loss and an axe in the back but if you think about it I mean your brother's death I mean that was grisly let me tell you <laughs> I mean his bones were coming right out of his body viscera covering the walls. His left arm, I mean his right arm was one thing, but his left arm was in pieces. <laughs> Damn, his left arm. Was... Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was. And he had a broken bone, right? I mean, I, I mean yeah, I'd imagine like he, he has tired. like fragments of every bone at this point. I, think we've, I don't think we've ever seen this specific no, clover thought, growing Haven't before. we? Haven't okay. we? Okay. What the hell are you getting at here? Mm. What the hell are you getting at? Yeah, jeez, hey. Junpei, like Where perspective. Read the damn room. Just shut up and answer me. She shoved her. <laughs> she shoved her face closer to his. He could see the fire in her eyes. Junpei winced and swallowed. Yeah, he did. It was pretty bad too. The bone was sticking out of the arm. No sooner were the words out of his mouth than Clover's expression changed. Clover. What's wrong? Mm. Clover. Look, I I'm sorry if I said anything. If I said everything. Suddenly she was crying. Wah. 
What are you doing here? You should be performing in movies. <laughs> Jimmy wasn't sure what to do. Thank you. That horrible <laughs> image will always be with me. It was close to the last thing he expected to hear. Huh? Um, what are you... No, it proves her brother really was a human and not a robot. He had bones. Junpei had no idea what had just happened. He didn't think he'd done anything worthy of thanks, and he couldn't understand why she would have chosen that moment to begin crying. Because he hardly described her bones. brother's freaking I mean, like, I can't believe it took her this long to start crying. It's sunk in later. So he simply stood there confused. Thank you so much, Junpei. <laughs> My confirmed kill. She thanked him again, and then something even stranger happened. She broke into song and dance. Oh. Oh. Oh, I'm getting far wow. in this dating sim. Clover threw herself at the Jinpei surprised arms. I just really was hoping I would hear the image of a bone sticking out of a left arm. Thank you, Jinpei. This is my finish. <laughs> hey, what's going on with you? I'm sorry. It's just I'm so happy. Why? <laughs> Don't we have to seek a way out? What the hell even is this? <laughs> The body in the shower room, it isn't his. It oh. isn't my brother. Oh. Huh? It's not Snake. Why on earth would you think that? Put the pieces together, dude. Something with the left arm. Mm -hmm. like... Because his left arm is... She stopped herself. I'm sorry. I'm, I really shouldn't be talking about this. Junpei decided it would be prudent not to press her for any more information. It also would have been proved to shut his idiot mouth for the last 15 minutes. And, and yet somehow things worked out for the best. Oh, <laughs> if she did not wish to tell him, she certainly had her reason for doing so. Perhaps more importantly, however, if Clover was so certain, then she was likely right. That meant that the body in the shower room wasn't Snake. It wasn't much, but that knowledge lifted some of the weight from Junpei's heart. But... He's still alive. I'm, I'm so happy. But like, where the fuck is he? Yeah, right? Tears and and then eye. whose body is that? <laughs> this is the real snake. He was an old man the whole time. Where do all these dead people keep coming from? <laughs> Tears shone in her eyes. By the way, you know, this is a pet peeve of mine, but... When, when you're watching a movie or a TV show where someone cries, look for it. It is very difficult to find tears coming out of where the actual goddamn tear ducts are. Everybody always cries in the outside of their eyes and right. it just bothers me. Because like you it's can't and, and I'm sorry for the viewers by the way cuz you cannot unsee this. Mm. Those tears melted Junpei's heart. So like a lot of the time when people cry like that it's because their tears pool in the inside of their eyes and they like fall to the outside cuz the Yeah, well exactly. Face. If they're crying so, that's clearly so not much happening but... here because she's tilting into Junpei's arms. Yeah, and and tear number 1 is not from the outside. Mm -hmm. As she cried, she had pushed herself up against his chest, like a child. Jumpy put his arms around her and held her tight. And then June walked in. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad. Sniffle. Junpei, you're right. <laughs> huh? No matter what happened, you can never lose hope. Oh, it's Dangan Rampa. Mm. You have to remember what's most important, and that's to have faith and have love. If you can remember all those, they'll bring you good luck. So this happens if you like get the get the the notebook from Santa that tells you. Yeah, what the, the good luck thing in particular. You, like for some reason you just decide to give it. And to Santa Clover. hates hope mm -hmm. and luck more than anything. It's like, like okay. Fuck numbers. <laughs> but I just love how he's like hope and love. I hate the really. <laughs> Clover reached into her pocket and pulled something out. Okay, that's. It was a laminated bookmark with the four leaf clover. I only made it here because you gave me this. I was suspicious of everybody, and I was angry and miserable. But because I had this four-leaf clover, because of what you said to me, I... Yeah. Jinbei hadn't thought his words would have had such an effect on her. Her words are making him feel a little awkward. Thank you so much, Junpei. She looked up at him. He scratched his nose and pretended to notice something interesting somewhere else in the room. <laughs> Classic <laughs> Junpei! If you really want to thank somebody, you should be thanking Santa. Santa? Why? Well, he was the one who gave me that thing. He said he hated it. And the words for each leaf? I got that from him, too. Hmm. 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 Then suddenly... Ace. Clover broke away from Junpei. Uh-oh. Huh? He looked confused. He hadn't thought she'd react that poorly. 
Clover began to pace across the room. She's really stomping her way. She's the ah, now she's over there. <laughs> yeah. Six steps to the left. Six steps to the right. Another six to the left. And then she stopped. I'm bored. <laughs> did, did Santa really tell you those things? Her eyes were serious, but not angry. Mm. Yeah, he did. Did I uh, say something wrong? It, it makes you feel any better. Like I said, he hates those things. Oh, no, not at all. In, in fact, this could be really good news, I think. You think? Santa knew about the words and the clover. The only people who should know about that are the other subjects. Subjects? The other people who were in the experiment nine years ago with my brother and me. Oh. What? <laughs> but but he's blind. And I was part of the Nevada test group. So neither of us would be able to recognize the face of the people who were on this boat. Whoa, 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 time out. Jinpei held up his hands in a classic time out gesture. <laughs> he Actually, it was more like a T, like a time out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He took a deep breath and let it out. Let's just calm down for a second, okay? We still haven't found a way out. Mm -hmm. Start from the top. Don't start with the end and then jump to the middle. You gotta start with one and then move to two and three and four and five. W, X, Y, Z. That's all you have to do. <sighs> Shouldn't we be solving the puzzle? I, right? If you don't tell me the stuff in the right order, I'm never going to be able but to figure the whole it game. out. All the game does is give you information in arbitrary order, and you have to like put, put the pieces all together. Well, I guess we're going to fail this game then. Yeah, we're terrible at this. Oh, okay. <laughs> Clover nodded. Here we go. All right. Let's start with this experiment. What happened on this boat nine years ago? Do you know about the morphogenic oh, fields? Oh, God. Yes, there I know. it comes. Morphogenetic fields. He did. And the realization sent chills down Junpei's spine. All right, how about this? Theory of the telepathic mechanism. I think Lotus mentioned something like that. For like a half an hour. Oh, my God. Junpei recounted what Lotus had told him earlier. Clover nodded. Thank God. Hmm, telepathy, huh? Well, that's not really it, but I suppose it's similar. So they were testing telepathy on the ship? Yeah, I guess so. So, what exactly did they have you guys do? The same thing we were doing now, exactly the same thing. So you wouldn't know this, like, he would remember exactly the one from the, it's, it's, I think it's Santa or June who explained it to you, with the picture on the very first yes. room. So I think, I, I don't know what choices we made to get to this point. Like, I don't remember them specifically. Yeah. Um, so I don't know what rooms these people did before, and except obviously you did the room where you got the bookmark from Santa. Yes. What? What? The nunnery game. <gasps> that, that's what we're playing right oh. now. Nine people were put on the boat, and then nine others were put in the building in Nevada. Then the game started. Jumpy grabbed the sides of his head. Look, I'm sorry, but I don't get it. What do the nunnery game and some telepathy experiment have to do with each other? Am I missing something here? Clover bit her lip. She blinked back sudden tears. What had happened to her in Nevada? The ability to assess the morphogenic field is affected by a couple of things. The first is um, empathy. Epi epiphany. Epiphany. Mm. And the other one is danger. Ace just like pops into the room for a second to correct her misspelling. It's epiphany. <laughs> you know how sometimes when you're up against a really tough problem and the answer just kind of pops into your head? That's epiphany. And what you learn from the epiphany can be transmitted with telepathy. When you add danger to that equation, it gets easier to transmit that information over telepathy. So you're saying the nunnery game was supposed to induce or introduce that element of danger? Yeah, but it couldn't be just any old danger. <laughs> That's be new, cool danger. Extreme danger. That'd be life and death. And and someone did actually die. A girl. Junpei felt a sudden grip of despair on his heart. Something deep and distant and powerful squeezed, and for a moment he felt very, very empty and alone. 
She was on a boat with my brother. I was in Nevada. I never met her, but I did hear her name. Her name was um. June. My God, who's with me on the boat? <laughs> that would actually be genuinely scary. Oh my God. Uh, and the, 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 the coffin that had the bang on it wasn't fucking scary. That was, that really got me. The sound of the, well, wasn't that before a bad end too, so we just didn't yes. pursue it? We have no idea what <laughs> it's happened like, with ah, that. come on. This is, just the, this is just the coffin in the middle of the ship. Like, that's with, terrifying. With a, per, with a live person inside it. The sound of the door opening was like a gunshot. Jumpy spun around. God damn it, Ace, you fucked up again. I know. <laughs> Oh, my apologies. I seem to have disturbed you. Yeah, yeah, I got a real habit. Ace. Please. You two must have strong stomachs. I can't imagine how you could stay in this room for so long. Ace glanced down at the floor. At the corpse, covered in blood. At any rate, Junpei, would you be so kind as to come and help me with something? Two corpses. <laughs> I'm having a little trouble and I could really use your assistance. The corpses are quite heavy. Where, where were you when I needed you to move this body? Ah, uh, right. Come on, it'll only take a moment. With that? I just want to make sure you don't have more paper in your pockets. Yeah. You're not doing this to me again, Junpei. What's this behind your ear? <laughs> All these papers to the nine door. I don't want to go through the nine door. <laughs> With that, he turned and walked back toward the communications office. Clover waited until he was out of sight, then spoke in a small, quiet voice. I, I don't want Ace to hear us, but we can talk about this later. Huh? Hey, wait. Clover ignored him. From outside, Junpei could hear Ace calling. Junpei, what are you doing in there? Hurry up. <laughs> There's three bodies. Arg! <laughs> Grumbling to himself, Junpei stomped off toward the communications office. Uh, well, I guess we're playing this now. Oh yeah, that's right, there was that's a the, secret way the out. Other, the other half of the room. Yeah, freaking Ace. Look, a hook. <laughs> I rhymed. Yeah, I was, I I was trying to say something that rhymes with super. rhyme, you rhymed. Good time for a rhyme. That wasn't a joke. Oh, they actually, that's Why great. Why was he angry? I know, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so angry at you, Junpei. It's a hook. Frank and close, I was wondering I where Ace was all this time. I forgot there was another half of this puzzle. Junpei, what are you doing? We've searched the wheelhouse from top to bottom. There's no reason to go back. In fact, don't you think it would be wise to investigate the captain's quarters? I think we ought to check both rooms, don't you? You pulled me out of here! As this the door is your fault. Throw, there's a hallway on the other side of it that goes to the wheelhouse. The door goes to the wheelhouse. So I'm time for backtracking right now. Look, look. A clock. <laughs> lock, a clock. The, <laughs> the hands aren't moving. I know what to do here. A little surprise that the time is wrong then, I suppose. And there's nothing on the back. Don't bother looking. Stop Ordinary looking. wall clock. Hands aren't moving. Oh. This thing again. Hey, it's Look. There's a big-ass rat trap over here. Really? After we've described what it is? Yep. I told you, the <laughs> telegraph key. How Idiots. many times do I have to tell you? It's a device that transmits messages through Morse code. Yeah, but think of all the rats it could catch. Oh my god, he looks angry in these pictures. Well, it's like, you idiots. <laughs> a telegraph key. There's no cheese on it, unfortunately. Oh my god, <laughs> Jeez, Junpei. A telegraph Junpei, Junpei's key. Junpei's appetite is back, because he doesn't have to stare at that corpse. Yeah, oops, I went right back into it. Just a normal light. No cheese. Well, it won't turn on, so maybe not that normal. Wow, okay. Hey, Ace, look. It's a rat trap. A monkey with glass. Oh, I can, I can kind of <laughs> see it. <laughs> That's amazing. Wow. It's a monkey with How glasses. How on earth did you arrive at that conclusion? <laughs> it also kind of looks like someone's watching too much TV. To be honest, I have no goddamn idea what this thing really is. It's probably some kind of radio transmitter. Probably radio transmitter. <laughs> hey, Ace, look. It's <laughs> another monkey. Hey, Ace. Hey, Ace. It's a model of a steam train. Oh, f <laughs> uh, how on earth did you arrive at that conclusion? I like that Ace doesn't seem to get no it is. substantially it is more aggravated. Yeah, this is fantastic. The cable that comes out of this thing is connected to the desk. It hey, like Ace, it looks like a snake. Yeah. What does that mean? I wonder if I can describe Snake's corpse to Ace, if Ace will also have a sudden recollection about his time. Hey, look, this cable is connected to the desk. Oh, very good. Very good, very good. It looks as though that drawer is the only thing that's locked. I don't, I don't see a keyhole, keyhole. though. Oh, yeah. Yeah. An electronic lock, perhaps. Take a look at the left side of the drawer. Yeah, there's some cables over there. That must mean... Drawer and budge. I think he's got some kind of electronic lock. A pair of headphones on the desk. They look like a pair of headphones. Hey, Ace, what's this? Ah. <gasps> 
There's a piece of paper in the drawer. Hey, what is this? It's blank. There's nothing written on it. Paper. A white piece of paper. It's blank. Combine. Can you combine? I mean, we have two things. We might as well try. Right? Nope. Oh, I can't believe it. <laughs> what about the other nothing drawer on the, the right anymore. side? I don't think it could access that. Yeah, Let's no. Try. Yeah. Eh. Still can't. Um. Nope. Oh, here's some stuff. Okay, only two screens. Old telegraph machine. Nothing suspicious here. We don't have anything stupid to say about this one, Junpei. Oh, oh. I guess that's how we get back to this room. Did I? I didn't really completely. Isn't the door on that screen the one right behind us? You're right. So whatever that camera sees is sent to this screen in real time. I wonder if that means something, you know? Hmm. Showing the door behind us. Nothing on the monitor, just static. O. R. E. C. A drawer, nothing inside. And that's it. Alright. And that, as they say. Oh, I did. <laughs> One of those things, the switches was on the screen. Let's see if it happens if I hold one of the switches. Nothing. Looks like it doesn't work anymore. Only that one button. Yeah, right. I'm trying to get the middle thing. I guess I can't. That poor, that poor thing was only one push away from retirement, <laughs> and, and you killed it. All right. Telegraph machine. I'll be honest. I have no idea how it works. We we believe you, Jupe. <laughs> oh, what is that? Hey, something stop. in the drawer. Ink. A bottle of ink. Oh. It's filled with ink. Huh. Some black ink. Ink. Smart. Nothing in the drawer anymore. There's nothing in the drawer, Junpei. Nuh uh, there's air. Hey, wow. Wow. wow! Wow! Unbelievable! I forgot that was a line. An actual line. How old are you? Nine? <laughs> nine, nine, nine. My age is 18. It's also a <sighs> Nothing in the drawer anymore. Oh, uh, there's air. Yeah, oh, there but, but. Still funny. Wouldn't keep still, on it on the I table. should say, it's still exactly as funny as it was the first time. Yeah. Small screwdrivers. Oh, time to take it apart. Hmm. A set of small screwdrivers. Perhaps we can use them to dismantle small devices. Like <laughs> that thing that you have. It doesn't also. matter how small the devices are. Just I like how screws. it's a whole set of small screwdrivers and not just yeah. one. Perfect for screwing and unscrewing small screws. Screw, 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 screw. Screw, 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 screw. This is a very nice box. You know. All right, this screwdriver. I want to make short work of this music box. I don't, it's like, I don't know why I did this. He just pounds it with the screwdriver. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Put the cylinder, cylinder. and the ink together. <laughs> no. It looks to be a cylinder for a music box. There are a number of pins and some pieces of metal that look like fans attached to it. Junpei, I was thinking. I do that sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> These pins in this metal thing, if you look at them in two dimensions, don't they remind you of something? Morse code. What do you mean in two dimensions? What would the cross section of one of these pins look like? A dot? And what about the fans? They look like lines. Dashes, even! Exactly. Now, do you know a code that makes use of dots and lines? We are, like, or, we're or, constantly on the verge of death. Just tell me the damn answer, Ace. Like, <laughs> a code with dots and lines. I don't remember the clues being this like handholdy in the DS version. Oh Maybe God. I could transfer them onto another surface by rolling the cylinder across it. Oh what my God. that ink? Yeah, that's really... No, 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 the paper first, I think. Ink? Wouldn't it be? No. Oh, well, you, you, ha ink. you have to like... Yeah, you have to put the put ink on ink it and then roll it across the... There we go. It's... Uh, um, I guess I'll put the ink on the cylinder. That's the best idea. Ew, it's dirty. No, you've ruined it. It's dirty. <laughs> ah, yes. I see. You put ink on the cylinder. That thing's nice. Yeah. I if could I have roll, done that. If I roll it across a piece of paper, the pins and the fans will leave marks on it, right? The pins will make dots and the fans will leave lines. All right, then show us. No. Show us the way. Cover with ink. Maybe if I roll I over a piece of paper. I just gotta roll the cylinder across a piece of paper. And if I'm right, the ink should... <gasps> oh. Just as you suspected, right? Now you have a pattern of dots and lines on the papers. Deets I know. Dudes, perhaps. <laughs> I imagine it's Morse code. Thanks, Ace. <laughs> These dots and lines are the dots and dashes. Oh my of Morse god! Code. This is like JoJo writing, where they like just extend it. It's like Morse code. These dots and lines are just like Morse code. It's like ugh. <laughs> I would imagine if you knew someone who knew Morse code, then you could have interpreted yeah. these into words. Jinpei, what are you doing? We have the Morse code message. <gasps> Certainly you know what to do next. No. Alright. 
I gotta go beep things now onto the beeper. All right, I've got the Morse code I'm supposed to enter. If I do this right, something will happen. I hope. All right, let's give this a shot. Really? I actually do have to hold the button down for the lines. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. I'm spelling like I'm stupid. <laughs> I'm with stupid. <laughs> it's hard to tell, right? Because Morse code is has like spaces. Like the letters in Morse code are, are never more than four, four like dots or dashes. Yeah, long. that's the last one. And Good yes, excellent work, Junpei. Good job. You seem to have figured it out, with I me telling it. you every single thing that you had to do I in know. explicit detail. You've unlocked the drawer. A telegraph key. No need to mess around with it anymore. Not a okay. mousetrap. trap. <gasps> something else that looks like a file or something. <laughs> like, when you click on that, I can imagine Junpei, like, putting his yeah. hands in. Uh, like, just oh, feeling around. What am I looking for? Ah, uh, Junpei. Hey, another thing. What does that say? Al Alice. All, all ice. Oh, that's right. Yes. That, that was the most Japanese thing ever. They <laughs> called it all ice. Like, no, they didn't. <laughs> A red oh. file lay in the drawer. Clearly, they, that's what it says on the book in yeah. English. Junpei reached down and picked it up. Looks like something's on the cover. Alice. All lice? Uh, all lice. All ice. Al wow, they are really... <laughs> Does this mean... <gasps> Lewis Carroll wrote this book. Junpei couldn't hold back. He had to know what was in that file. Oh, Just ice cubes. <laughs> yeah. oh, oh no, hieroglyphics. Each page was covered with strange characters. They looked like tiny drawings of birds, snakes, insects, horned animals, wings, and even nearly Is humans. This manga? <laughs> <laughs> there were many pages in the file, and each was full of the strange symbols. And it's very, very neatly uh, written too. What the hell is this? He didn't realize he'd spoken out loud until Ace looked over at the him. The one time that he actually says out loud what he's thinking. Like, I know. They are hieroglyphs, a form of writing used in ancient Egypt, and also in this book, apparently. Tch. Ancient Egypt? What the hell is that? <laughs> that's right. That's what I said. Can you read them? Dude, even if he can, that's a stupid question to ask. Who could just read hieroglyphics? Of course. <laughs> of course! <laughs> I was Egyptian the whole time. I was ancient Egyptian the whole time. <laughs> I can't. Okay. What would, what would make you yeah. think that? Yeah, really. What the hell? Jinpei flipped through a few more pages. It wasn't just one or two pages that were covered in the strange symbols. Every single page was covered in them. Whoa, the whole thing's like that. Trying to read them was pointless. Jinpei wasn't going to waste any more time with them, so he burned the book. <laughs> he made to close the file, and something fell out. Huh? What's this? He bent down and picked it up. Bottom deck library. Oh, a key card. There was a symbol on it that reminded Junpei of the symbols for the Saturn and Mercury key cards. Yes, it's it's Mercury. This one, however, had a dot in the center of the male symbol. Oh. Uranus. It, it butts. That's, that's the Uranus symbol. I'll tell you where to shove that key. Junpei looked over to see Ace examining he the card. He came to the library and it's just a butt with a, with a card reader. <laughs> How did I not make this connection earlier? In addition to the earnest symbol, there were three words engraved on the card as well. Pluto is not a planet. Something is written on the bottom. Bottom deck library. This must be the key to the library then. So it would seem. Bottom deck library. I mean, clearly that's where we're going to have to find some sort of translation... I, I don't know what word you use for it. Like I can't a, remember a translation if, key. if some of the other team had this card. Because, like, oh. in the other ending where we go to door six, I believe it is. Uh -huh. I've never seen this card key. Get a good look. It's gorgeous. Maybe they just couldn't figure out how to open this this part of this drawer. Ah. Jim Pierre remembered something he'd heard from Seven when they'd been in the chemical hmm. closet. Seven said something like... Alice sleeps in a small chamber past the forest of knowledge beneath the navel of the gigantic. Could beneath the navel mean the bottom deck? And the forest of knowledge is the library? Then could Alice be in a room somewhere beyond the library? He would have just said the library if it was the it's library. It's so pretentious, <laughs> yeah. 
What's wrong? Something on your mind? Junpei blinked. Only then did he notice Ace looking at him. Curiosity and concern written across his face in equal parts. Um, yeah, I just remembered something. Is that so? What about? Please, tell me everything. Well, I have nothing better to do. don't laugh, okay? Because it's really stupid. There was no reason for Junpei to hide his thoughts. He began to explain his theory to Ace. Then he stopped. It wouldn't make any sense if Ace didn't know who Alice was supposed to be, so we had a good 20-minute scene of this, and so he told Ace everything Junpei told him. 